Please note that after nearly a year, I've decided to stop accepting friend requests and adding people to my waiting list, as it's far too time consuming to manage these days. If you're currently on my waiting list, you will be added, so please be patient. In future, I will be giving away friend slots on my Discord channel instead. Thanks for understanding. For some reason, the aspect ratio and screen was skewed for this video. I have no idea why, but I apologize. What's up friends, Chuck here and welcome back to Bit Heroes. It is Thursday, it is capture day, it is also 35 degrees here in Melbourne today which means it's probably like 40 degrees in my office here. Uh, so, might be a shorter video, we'll see how I go. Uh, we do have our capture rate stuff on and if we look here, we do have our 50% capture rate just to make sure. Uh, so, we are oxal farming yet again. Uh, as far as oxal farming goes, let's get started by the way. We do also have uh, 300 energy here, so we could do uh, the 12 raids um, if we, you know, if I don't, like, melt, but we'll see. Uh, I'm doing, I'm doing a thrust, yes I am. Okay, as far as capture rate goes, and uh, RNG and all that stuff, I've had horrible, horrible RNG. So, I haven't actually seen an Oxler spawn, not, uh, not come up with persuasion or anything like that, like, literally I haven't seen it in a, uh... In a raid like this like it just hasn't spawned in the raid since saturday um so i have nine raid shards as a max so when i log in you know in the morning or whatever it be um like right now i've got nine so that's it and then they they you get a raid shot every two hours or something so by the time the end of the day let's say i've done i don't know let's pick a number like 15 we'll say say i've done 15 i do 15 raids a day uh sunday didn't count because it was um i don't find it so uh, Saturday was 15 raids, then Monday was 15, that's, so that's 30, Tuesday was 15, that's uh, 45, <laughs> yesterday, Wednesday, that was 15, so that's 60, basically in 60 raids, an Oxler hasn't showed up, like, what the hell is that, that's horrible, like, the, the fact that it, you know, he shows up and then he doesn't come for persuasion is one thing, but him to just not show up in 60 raids, that seems excessive, uh, I've said before, I don't really know the math, um, you know, as far as, like, the percentage chance of him showing up in a raid, like, what it is or whatever, but I generally, like, have a thought or a feeling that it's, like, he shows up roughly 1 in 10 raids, right? So 10% of the time you do raid 1, you'll see an Oxler. That's just a guess. I don't actually know the math, but it seems to be something like that. But 0 in 60, uh, or at 61 as it turns out right now, that's really bad luck, man. I, 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 I don't know. It seems, it seems excessively bad luck. Um, I mean, I, I assume and I expect for when he is there that, uh, you know, he's not going to come up for persuasion and stuff, but at least he's showing up to the party, right? The moment he's just out on holiday having a great time back in freaking demon red goblin land, um, probably having margaritas and, and, you know, playing with hookers or something. I don't know what he's doing, but he certainly is not here hanging out. And uh, if he's not here today... Oh, I'm gonna get angry. Gonna get angry, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now, uh, quickly, let's just stop this for a sec. We are officially eight days and 21 hours, at the time of recording at least, away from new content. So next week will be Thursday capture rate like normal. The following week will be new content capture rate. Uh, we don't know what that's going to entail. Um, so. What's going to happen is this, and I'm making this up right now, so bear with me. When the new content comes out, uh, actually, if, if you've been watching my channel for a while or know me or talk to me in Discord and stuff, you will know that I don't look up things, right? I don't look up any Reddit or forums and all that. I've, I've talked about this before. So I just kind of find things when I come into it in game. I, I don't have, like, I don't know. I just don't look up stuff. Um, people tell me things, but I don't actively go search it out. But when a new content comes out, uh, when a new content, when new content comes out, obviously the new raid, the new world boss, all these different sets and mythics and all that sort of stuff. So generally I try and find out what the set pieces are for the new raid so that I can then work towards not replacing those pieces of armor. So for instance, this raid, like raid six, the set was main hand, off hand, helmet, um, chest piece. So I was pretty much free to upgrade um, the rec uh, the ring and the neck with legendaries because they weren't part of the raid set. And the raid set is the only set I can ever get because I'm never strong enough to do heroic um, world boss until right at the end, like right now. 
and I can never get high enough in Trials of Gauntlet to get that set. So the only set I can ever get is the um, the raid set. So I generally look up that and I see what raid set, uh, what the sets are, and then I try and avoid upgrading those parts first in case I get the set drop, which I never do because again RNG. Um, but I look up that. I also look up what, uh, well I try to at least what are going to be the new familiar um, fusions and where they drop. So I'll look up and I'll be like, when when this tier came out, I'm like Columbus and he looks awesome, 45% block chance tank with a decent amount of stamina that attacks the whole team when he goes under 50%. That's the fan for me. So raid six is where you need uh, to find him, um, the, the actual fam himself, caught him, always good, but uh, bribed him, everything through gems at him, got him, nice. Uh, you need 150 dew drops. We saw that they would they just dropped in raid six just as a thing. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna get 150 of them eventually just by playing. Now all I need to do is find the schematic. Fast forward five to six months later, still don't have the schematic. So that kind of backfired uh, in the fact that I knew what I was going for, I went for it, never got the schematic, it kind of sucked. Um, so in the new content, I will look up what familiars are where, what fusions are where, what they are, and I'll be like, okay, here's a really, because tank's the thing I want, right? I want a really, really strong tank, hence why we're going for Oxler to get Oxler Roth, or Oxler Roth, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I might look up and I'll be like, all right, here's a, a, you know, a shit hot tank that I want. Uh, where are the fans for this? Okay, I need this, 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 from this, 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 this. Then, once I figure that out, maybe that will dictate what Thursday capture rate will be, right? So say there's a, a, a familiar that I want, and uh, the fams you need are from, like, the first dungeon in the new, like, the first dungeon in the new um, content, the second dungeon in the new content, and from the, ne the, the, the next raid. So we will go through our capture rate to get those fams. If that made that was a big long rant uh, as is my my way I, I love a good rant uh, of explaining that but hopefully that made sense otherwise if there's nothing i particularly want or i'm not sold on anything or i haven't looked it up yet or no one's told me or any of that stuff we'll just keep going with oxler because i need i've put 300 and i think three level uh i think i'm level 303 right now yes i am uh, levels worth of farming Oxla. Obviously not every day, but I will do like a month or month or two of doing raid one every day apart from Sunday, looking for him, and then I'll give up. And then I'll go back a few months later and I'll try again for like a couple of weeks and then I'll give up. Or something else is more important, or you know, like when we were doing Walkham or something like that. But effectively, since I ever hit raid one um, to now, I've been trying to get him and just can't. So he is like my white whale, he's my son of a bitch. And I will get him, uh, I will find him, and he will be mine. And I will call him Oxler, because <laughs> screw you. And I will fuse him, I will, I will sacrifice him to the uh, the demon god Astaroth, and he will eat him, and he'll turn into a big pink thing holding like, I don't know what he's holding, a sack or something, I don't know. Um, uh, well, it must be, it must be the, the gobby sack, or the, the Oxler sack. Anyway, whatever, I'll turn him into a big pink bitch that will take all the damage for me, and it will be amazing. Um, but to do that, the son of a bitch has to actually show up, um, and 63 raids later, still no sign of him, so he's still, he's still, you know, doing blow and stuff off, like, hookers' chests and, you know, having his margaritas and doing whatever he's doing, having a great time, um, but he ain't here, so, he better show up today, tell you what, he freaking better. Uh, so that's capture rate, kind of talked about for the new content at least um so yeah we have a plan i guess uh we'll, we'll, we'll see hopefully they said that they're we, we've gone through this but they said that they're going to change up familiars right that they're going to do something to the familiars they're going to change the system or, or buff them or i don't know and we kind of speculated um what they could do uh, i said it would be cool if there was like um like i said this in my last video so i'm not going to go over it again in depth but if they had like a tree where you could pick a branch of what you wanted so if you had um if you had walkham like i do you could then fuse walkham with you know fam uh familiar a to get like a different type of walkham or familiar b to get a different type of walkham so one might be more focused on damage the other one might be more focused on healing something like that i doubt that that's what it is but that would be cool uh we'll have to see 
everything is speculation we don't know once the new content comes out i will do a big video on it and we'll go over everything that we know of um that video won't be like canon about the new content and stuff no doubt like a few weeks later some of the stuff i've said in there won't be 100 percent true or something but with all the knowledge we have of when the new content comes out like it'll launch and at, like at, for me the, the reset is 11 a.m so i'll get on at 11 a.m to record a video on the new content and stuff i say there might not actually be true two months down the track from there but at the time of recording it we'll have a talk about what we what we have the information we have ready to us at that time and we'll go through all the different changes and stuff and have a chat about it and we'll also do a video about uh going through the entire new zone uh and we'll go through all the dungeons and flags and i'll do them step by step and i'll go through the the bosses manual and stuff so everyone can see what kind of damage they do and what abilities they have uh because i've done that for the last two new zones and a lot of people have given me good feedback on that saying thank you for taking your time and showing things and like just not autoing everything uh, especially at the boss so we can see like what we're up against so we can prepare um because apparently a lot of people just auto it when they're on if they're streaming or something and you don't really get the full understanding of what they do so i will do that and i'll take my time with the flags and try and explain anything that i noticed along the way we will also do a video on the new raid uh no doubt we will be able to we'll be able to do it on normal i have no doubt in my mind we might even be able to do it on hard potentially uh heroic got no chance but as i said for any new content really uh, i think i said it about this raid uh raid six and tier nine uh that if you're struggling a bit and you can't do i don't need you good piss off uh if you're struggling a bit and you you know you can't do raid six heroic or something and you, and you, you can only do raid six hard and you, you don't have enough ts to get through the new uh flags and all that sort of stuff give it like a week or two and all of your like higher level friends will be doing raid seven and will be getting more ts and we're getting these sets and all this stuff especially if you've got like more like whaley friends or ones that pay money to you know get through content faster and item find and all that sort of stuff uh and then eventually you know the thing you were stuck on will be like easy mode all right so whenever there's new content come out if you're particularly stuck somewhere and you're lower level and you're like oh, whatever i do i can't get past this it's providing you can use your friends so uh dungeons or raids or whatever it is uh those friends will get stronger fairly quickly when the new raids come out um when the new content comes out and then that will make your whole raid team ts stronger and then you'll be able to progress through what you were doing and all that good stuff so uh yeah basically just give it some time give it a week or two after new content comes out all of the whaley type people or high level people will deck out and then you'll be fine so at the time like day one like you know count zero of the patch coming out uh we might be able to do hard raid maybe not uh but again if i can't if i can only do normal within a week or two i'll be able to do hard because uh you know eagle and rev me up and pros and chaos and all that will will we'll get all their their gear that they need um and then i'll be able to do it and then it will take a long ass time to be able to do heroic because i'll be way behind uh because i am purely free to play now i was talking to some friends about free to play versus uh i don't want to say pay to win but pay pay to play convenience pay to advantage we'll say i don't know whatever putting money in it put it that way completely free to play never spend a cent compared to putting money in and the differences and stuff and there's pretty glaring differences like it's pretty huge actually uh so as an example uh, i won't actually mention who this was in case they didn't want to be mentioned or something but the story goes like this i started playing bit heroes roughly two years ago uh i think when i think it launched on mobile in may 2017 i think uh i started playing like the, the week it came out on mobile so we're in march as of today no tomorrow tomorrow is march so when this video goes out it's the first day of march um so it's only march april may so it's like basically two years we'll call it two years close enough and in two in that two years i am level 303 and i've never gone offline for more than 24 hours like i've never been offline for probably more than 20 hours uh including my wedding day including my honeymoon uh you know even if i didn't 
do much i would log in so that you know i was active and like my higher level friends wouldn't kick me and all this sort of stuff and da 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 da, da. which is why when people like say like they go offline for like over 24 hours and, and i kicked them off my friends list because that's my rule and they're like hey man like why'd you kick me i'm like oh i was offline you're offline for 24 hours they're like yeah but i was busy at school or this and i'm just like dude you can log in you don't need to do a raid or any you literally log in and then just shut it down again you know, that, and that will, will go, okay, you've been offline for 20 hours, log in, you've been offline for one minute. That's all you need to do. Like, just be active, or just log in. Like, so if I can do it on my wedding day and my honeymoon and all this stuff, and log in and, and make sure that I'm keeping my account active and stuff, everyone can do it, right? Unless you're in hospital or you've been in an accident or anything like that, um, you can do it. Even if you go overseas and stuff, like, there's Wi-Fi in hotels and stuff. It's not, there's not that much as far as the excuses go. Um, I don't know, that's my view on it. Anyway, I never went offline and I pretty much had done all of the, you know, raids and trials, gauntlet, PvP, everything I've done for every day for the past 24, uh, sorry, two years, basically. That's the gist of it. I'm level 303. I have just recently in the last two weeks, uh, maxed out, or three weeks, maxed out my T9 set or my T9 TS and everything. And that is, that is it. This friend of mine, uh, started playing in November and has put money into it so November to first day of March roughly four months he is level 319 uh, he has full sets and mythics and all sorts of stuff so in four months with money he has gone past me in level and has got way better gear than me and everything so that is the difference between pay to play and free to play having said that I've never spent a cent I'm level 303 and I have full TS and everything so I'm the poster child for you can do it free to play you can do it you don't need to spend money it's fine it just takes a thousand times longer but you can do it so I think I don't know this is also speculation but I think I might be if not the, the highest level one of the highest levels free to play players in the game uh, I, I don't know if you're a free to play player and you're higher level than me I would love to know uh, I, I know that there's quite a few, quite a few free-to-play players, but a lot of them are like lower leveled and stuff. But I would, I would have a guess that I'm one of the highest, higher leveled free-to-play players, um, because you know two years of playing free-to-play uh, gets you this far. So to be higher than me, you would have to have been playing before it went to mobile. You'd have to be playing on the browser, um, or you would have had to buy like a heap of you know super scrolls and all that sort of stuff with gems i don't know but if you if you know of anyone or you are high level free to play and stuff i would like to know um and we can compare like notes and stuff on like you know how far we've gotten and, and all that sort of stuff but the gist of it is if you pay to play uh it is a lot more of a progress and a lot quicker and stuff but you have to spend money so gist of it is you can do it as free to play it just takes a shitload longer uh so that was that was what that was about and that was a tangent of what i was originally talking about which i've now forgotten so there's that um but well, i guess we'll call that the story uh, there, there was somewhere i was going with it and i'll try and think of it while i'm talking about other stuff but i can't remember what it was um yeah no it's completely gone anyway let's get back to raid one still no oxler um getting a bit worried this is this is the eighth raid or is this the ninth? Uh, either way, we've got 300 energy we can exchange for raid shards. So we've got three more uh, at least. But he, like, what the hell, man? Where is he gone? Have they just, like, take like taken his code out of the game? It's like, you know what? There's this guy that really wants Oxler. He spent 300, well, 250 levels or something trying to get him. Uh, let's just be a son of a bitch and take him out, right? He'll never get him. That's what it feels like. what it feels like uh now another thing to note is uh, at the start of my videos now uh last video and this video providing i remember to do it that was the ninth raid son of a bitch um is that i have put a kind of disclaimer thingy saying that i have stopped adding people to my friends list and stopped adding people to my waiting list um we went over this last week it is a disclaimer at the start, so I don't think I need to mention it too much, but I will um, just, you know, touch on it a little bit. 
uh, I'd pretty much been doing all the waiting list stuff for about 10 months. Uh, which again, pretty much a year, a long ass time. And uh, it's just become too hard to handle and there's just so many people doing it and like then people like ask to be on the friends list and then you know you go to add them and they're level like 30 and they've been offline for you know six weeks or something and you're just like well like of course they're not going to come back to the video and go hey i'm not playing anymore occasionally people do and i really appreciate that actually if you're one of those people that used to well you're probably not watching this if you've stopped playing but there are people that be like hey man i'm on your waiting list i've quit the game uh, you know, you can give the spot to someone else. I'm like, oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Uh, but a lot of people just ditch it and, you know, like, they play the game for probably a week and they're like, yeah, add me. And I'm like, I'm on the, yeah, I'll put you on the waiting list. They're like, well, screw you then. And then, like, after a week, they're like, yeah, this game's shit. I don't like it or something. And they quit. So managing all that and then finding people and then, you know, adding them and then waiting and then updating the list and all this stuff. It's just gotten too hard basket and uh, I don't have enough time. To, well, I do have enough time, but like it takes a long time and like social life, my wife, work, recording videos for YouTube, doing my own thing. Like I've just decided to stop after 10 months. It, it's, you know, I think that's fair, right? Uh, so once the waiting, everyone on the waiting list will be added. So just be patient if you're on the waiting list, that is. After that's filled and there's no more waiting list uh, to, to, to work on, uh, I will just be giving away spots on my Discord server. Uh, so if you're not part of the Discord server, uh, the link is in the description. I highly recommend joining it for if you're into Bit Heroes um, and you're playing, because there's a Bit Heroes uh, is it server on there, Gr room, group, whatever. There's a Bit Heroes bit on there um, that everyone that plays Bit Heroes is in there talking and, and stuff, offering advice, offering friend slots, all that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, if you're playing and you need higher level friends, or you're stuck on somewhere, or you want advice or anything like that. Um, then I suggest jumping into my Discord and going to the Bit Heroes room and um, you know mentioning all that sort of stuff. And I'm no doubt in my mind that there will be people there that will help you out um, because it's actually really really positive. Uh, the, the actual like official Bit Heroes Discord is a mess in my opinion, uh, but the Bit Heroes room in my Discord, everyone's super helpful and friendly and, and stuff and, and go out of their way to help people and stuff. So it's a really good place to be. Um, so if you're, if you're needing help or level leveled or anything like that, um, then yeah, I highly recommend it. And that is where I will give my friend slots away in the future. So let's say, um, the waiting list is completely finished and then I am at hundred friends and I log in and someone's been offline for 24 hours plus, I will kick them. I will go to the Beat Heroes, um, room on my discord and I'll be like, who needs a friend? Who, who needs a friend slot? I'll get the numbers, uh, the names, and say there's six people, and then I'll just do a random number generator, one to six, and whoever gets, whoever wins, gets the friend slot. That's probably what I'll do once the fr friends list, uh, waiting list has been finished. So long story short, join the, dis uh, join the Discord, have a chat in the Heroes room, and from there, I will add people to my friends list down the track. So that will be the last time I really mention anything about the friends list and all that sort of stuff. Um, I've mentioned it a few times now, I've got the disclaimer at the start of the video, and I will probably put that disclaimer in the start of the video for the next couple of weeks, maybe? Um, I probably won't put it, maybe I won't, maybe I'll just put it until the new content comes out, because I don't really want it at the start of the new content, because if people are watching that, like, months afterwards, it's gonna be a bit weird, so, um, yeah, either way, that's it, if you don't know that by now, um, then... I don't know, something's a bit weird. Unless you start watching my, my content later or something, but anyway. One raid to go. Uh, so we were 60, so this will be 72? 72, 72, the 72nd raid without an Oxa. That has to be some kind of record, right? Maybe? I don't know. Um, and that's just, a, that's just a guess. It's probably more than that, because I would say if I do my nine raids um, in the morning, like when I get up, if they regenerate one raid every two hours and there's nine things, that's 18 hours to get. Okay, so, uh, maybe, probably, it's probably not far off actually. 70, let's say it's between 70 and 80 raids, maybe. Either way, it's a lot. It's it's more than it should be. Um, stupid goblin red piece of crap. Uh, what would be amazing though is if it after all of these and this is the last raid for the day 
uh, well, for the recording at least. Um, and then he shows up and it's just like, oh, there he is. And then he comes up to persuasion. He's like, sorry, man, I've been on holiday. I apologize. I didn't let you know. You know what? I feel really bad. I'll come and join you. I'll be like, it's all right. It's just fine. Just let me know next time. Also, there won't be a next time because I don't need you anymore. I hate you. And I'll feed you to Astaroth. And that will be, that will be amazing. But I don't think that's going to happen. Although if he comes up right now, if he's in this raid and that doesn't happen, uh, my heart. <laughs> uh, but he won't be. He won't be here. Of course he won't be here. Um, yeah. Now, Sunday, I don't find. Uh, we will continue doing uh, raid six because why not? Um, it is 100% raid find bonus thing at the moment. So that's our best bet of finding the Columbus and schematic. Uh, so we'll continue to try for that. Uh, we'll see what the bonuses are next week. Because at the moment there's the 100% raid item find. And the 50% capture rate. So this is just uh, today's bonus. Uh, but there's a 100% raid item find uh, the whole week. Basically every day for the whole week. So we'll see what happens next week. Because there is the whole of next week before the new content. Whether they keep this. Or whether they change it to 100% item find in like Gauntlet. Because it'll be Gauntlet next week. Or maybe they'll put 100% capture rate. That would be amazing. That would be the best. Hopefully it's that. Uh, or maybe they'll just keep it 100% raid on find. Or maybe they'll just get rid of it completely. I don't know. Uh, but considering the new content is coming out, it makes sense for them to like give everyone a little bit of a boost. So those people that are a little bit lower or struggling or something, uh, you know, have the potential to get higher and make it uh, to the new content so they can actually be effective. But there is a capture rate day done yet again no red son of a bitch but we'll keep trying and uh, as i mentioned next week will be the same the following week we'll see because we need to see uh, all the new content schematics and stuff um so we can go and try if there is new a new fan that's awesome or something that i want new tank or something we can definitely go and try and get all the um familiars for it whether we get the schematic is another thing it could be columbus and all over again we have everything and we're just waiting for the schematic but at least we can try and get something new but we shall see Either way, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. If you like this video, click here to see another one just like it. If you're new to the channel and like what I'm doing, click here to subscribe and become the newest member of the Chicken Coop. If you really like what I'm doing, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description where you can help support me and help the channel grow. You'll also find a link to the channel's Discord server where you can chat with me and other members of the Chicken Coop. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.